Well, what do we have in here? Well, well hang on, we already were here. But uh, more importantly, we can use the fire armor dealer here. We have a near other supply of them over here. Super easy to catch those things. What have we got? We have ooh, a glyph key. Nice. So obviously they go up here. Uh, obviously they go up. Sphinx. Sphinx. Okay. You can't actually jump up that high. High skeletal spider. A couple more caster beetles, a little more scarabs. We have. Oh boy, Simon says. You know what? I want to fail this one. <laughs> I love that sound, even though it's kind of infuriating to hear. Oh, oh boy, it's a crab claw. Hi. Get up. Open up this arc. What do we have? We have ice darts. These magical darts can be used to freeze certain type of monsters. Once the monster is frozen, you can pick up or push the block of ice depending on its size. You can also stand on top of the block of ice to reach an otherwise inaccessible area. Alternatively, you can shatter the block by hitting it with your blade. So now we have ice darts. Neat. Uh, don't think I'm going to be able to get past this giant waterfall thing. Safe to say I probably won't be able to do that. But more importantly, bring out this. Bring out ice darts. Quicker than that. Ow. So I can stand on top of this. Oh, no. No, no, no. He's going to be a problem. Yep, we're just going to freeze him. So we're going to grab this. We can push this guy. Oh, and we can also just fast push him. All right, that should be enough, I hope. There we go. Use item glyph. Fortunately, it does not matter in what order you use these glyphs. Left, right, center, center, right, left. Each one of those will turn off the nearest fountain when used. And he's thawed and he's pretty angry. Don't blame him. So from here, where to go, where to go? There's a blade scorpion. All right, shoot the car dart, left or right? That's uh, head of the right. I've already said we'll complain about the car dart teleports. I'm pretty sure of that. If you already know you're gonna be taking a oh. Hope you brought capture beetles because you're gonna need two fire armadillos. I have three. All right. <laughs> You need to jump up here, then use a fire armadillo. Oh, there's it. No, you don't, Cobra. All right. Hit this button again. Carefully dodge up here. But we've also got to do the same thing again. Because clearly, why not? And the spikes are back. Yeah, this puzzle is uh, a little tedious. But now we have to hurry a little bit. Oh, hopefully we don't get impaled, because that would hurt. Obviously. And here we go. We are up here. Whoop.
roasting our feet over some open fire. Church Mac. We have another glyph key. And... Whoa, close. Very close. Whoa! Goody, goody. Was that one done? But uh, let's see what's on the other side first. Shoot a car dart over here. Give it a minute. need something to put here but look above us uh, let's use a standard dart that will summon a fire armadillo which we can then freeze if he holds still got him pick up so some monsters you can pick up others can't. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Don't want to do that by accident. Oh, faster. There we go. Just spawned into this world and frozen. And now we got to do that one more time. Because the game really loves repetition. There we go. Pick up. Drop. And we ourselves stand on the last button and it should just automatically open the door and just keep it open. Yep. And we have another glyph. Yeah, two glyph keys we can use. So now we stand back on the ka-onk and fire away. Come on, come on, get up there. Here we go. So we're using these ice darts like quite a bit. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Grab and push. Use the glyph key. Stop the water on the second row. And it resets him. Joy. Oof. Come on. This way, Sphinx. No, don't smack him. Oh, no. Uh, let's push him out this way. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, phew. First thing I thought, like, soft off the game. That uh, Sphinx was trying to push an enemy that he really couldn't quite push into a direction you wanted. There we go. Final glyph key. With that, the water is stopped. Yeah, yeah, you missed. Okay, what could possibly be over here? Pretty long stretch of everything. Wonder if an enemy's gonna attack me. Look, two knives cats. Again. Knives cats are kind of a joke, if you couldn't tell. But I'm pretty sure that's not all. I said, pretty sure that's not all. Huh. 
We have this. A couple more ice darts. We have 200 gold scarabs. All right, I should probably cool it because I know I'm going to be getting uh, quite a lot more. Use the magical teleport. Why, yes. Because saying no doesn't bring up anything funny. And from here, we are at... Ooh. I assume this must be the Uruk Islands. They're, uh... They're pretty tall islands, I gotta say. Whatever. What's behind me? Over on the right-hand side, we have a number of scarabs. On the left-hand side, we have another thing to smack. More scarabs. Joy. I mean, there's a pot here in the center, but that's probably just going to contain more nonsense, really. Huh. There's not really a whole lot of places we can go here. But if we look behind us, wouldn't you know it, we have a standard dart. We can shoot here and here. Magical teleport! Oh, and by the way, if you ever think about using those ice darts again... <laughs> Remember what I said a little earlier about how items are only going to ever be used once? And that's it? I mean, we use the ice dart quite extensively. And we never need to use it to solve any other puzzle again. And using a blow dart in combat is kind of worthless. <laughs> so be careful. That's as close as it's going to get, Mia. All right. What have we got up here? Huh. Hi? What are we, like a pirate wolf character? Welcome to Urukai's face. My friend Emotep told me you would be arriving. I know that you are seeking the sacred crown of Uruk, which is being held by the deadly Gab Queen. But first you must overcome a test of mind and body, wisdom and ability. If you are successful, it would mean that you are prepared to overcome the mighty power of the Geb Queen. But should you fail, a grim fate awaits you in the temple beyond those doors. So, do you accept this test? Nah. As I suspected, you're a coward! Oh yes sir, coward, every time. Alright, let's actually do it. Tired to take out the test? Yes. Very well. Go into the temple, and if you can escape, bring me what you find. The temple doors open. So, Geb. Uh, not a very well-known Greek... Uh, not Greek god. Egyptian god. But uh, Smite had a better interpretation of him than he does in this game, because he's only... The Geb queen? Uh, yeah, that, that ain't right. That ain't right. I'm not going to count that as an added complaint because I've already complained that this game's version of Egyptian mythology is loose. So here we are in the temple of wherever. T. Help, help, help me, sir. Oh, hey, what up? Sir, a demonic soul has kidnapped my little brothers and I. Please help us get out of this devilish temple. Okay. See what I can do. Uh, so this is a T. We have only one set of glowing eyes. Using standard darts. Pew, 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 pew. There we go. And from here, oh boy, oh no. All right, first I'm taking care of that bloke. Oh, you miss. There we go. Behind here we have slime burbles. Joy. Whoa, whoa, easy, easy. Oh, yeah, I almost, uh, yeah. So, oh, I said that blow darts are going to be mostly useless, but they're not. So this particular corner, I can ride, or if not ride, take this all the way over. 
But there's a speedrun strat I want to try real quick. Apparently, you can make this jump. I'll give it another couple of tries. I'm only down like half an ox, so. Oh, yes! Yes! Speedrun strat right there. And we now have H. Oh, hi. Another one of these. I don't need to capture another one. I've already, uh, I've already done enough of that. I've already got one. So, Red H. Alright, this time I'm going to go across the way you're supposed to. There we go. So, Bright Red H. Should be... Not that one. Not that one. Oh, wait, no, it should be this one. There we go! Alright, so... She's free, right? She's not like some weird skeleton demon in disguise or anything. Hmm? Thank you, sir, for your noble actions. Dot, dot, dot. My little brothers and I want to reward your effort. Scary demon! And if you spam the button, you just instantly kill him. But not instantly. Oh. Oh, now those are working. Alright. I know I have a... I believe I already have a skeletal swordsman. There we go. And a giant green worm, because of course, why not? Jump up here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! Oh! Oh, that hurts! Oh! That looks painful. Jerk. Out it goes. We now have that. We have, huh, a new type of dart? You've got the bouncing darts. These magical darts can be used to hit targets which you don't have direct access to. And we have a rope that we can cut. Ooh, part of puzzle it is. Well, we have bouncing darts, and oh, hey, look, a target that's in a way we can't actually hit it. So, low pipe, bouncing dart. Yeah, this is going to take a little while. I think only three of these can be out of the same time. There we go. I'm just going to throw a complaint specifically for this one. Where is... There we go. Complaint number 49. These bouncing darts are only ever used that moment. I know I've stated before that this game suffers from acute Zelda syndrome. This is the absolute most ridiculous case of it. You pick up an item and you use it for a grand total of once. That's it. You never need to use the rubber bouncing darts ever again. At that point, why even have this item here? Just you, Maybe you could just make the entire game where you don't do that? I mean, it's like one little puzzle. You can't just axe it. All right. Well, we got that rope out of the way, and that reveals that. We have one more to go. Which involves pulling this. Oh, we're on a minor time limit. Chop, chop. A lot quicker than that, Sphinx. Oh, boy. Gotta go quick. Gotta go quick. That ledge. Ooh, oh, no. I think I need to pull this one out. The furthest. At least. Let's try this order. No, that's not gonna... Man, that thing goes fast. Alright. Alright, I think I see... Sphinx. Sphinx. Sphinx, quit casually sauntering up to it. Oh, goodness. Right, I think I know how to solve this. If I remember how to solve it. So this one gets pulled out all the way first. Followed by pulling this. Oh, 
all the way out. And then this, since this one's going the fastest, quickly, quickly, jump up to here. Jump up to here. Jump up to here. Oh, that's a quick one. And the last rope we need to cut reveals an O. Now, you might be thinking, oh, couldn't you have just, you know, memorized the solution and gone from there? Yes, but actually no. Because without all those in the way, we can now open up this gate, which releases a slime burble. Why do we need a slime burble? I'm assuming to blow something up. I already have like five of them in my inventory. More importantly, the way here, so we got a big old circle. Uh, oh, I'm using the regular darts. No, 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 no. This. Thank you. Use the standard darts. Because I can fire a lot more of these out at the same time than bouncing darts. This looks like an arena. Disco. Oh, crab claws. Big clap. Oh, here's something they normally, you know, they're supposed to do, but they don't do often. They climb the walls. And we have a skeletal swordsman. Get lost. That should be everything. All right. So the reason we need slime burbles is because of these pillars. So we can just go... Kaboom! Caused that to happen. Skeletal Swordsman? No, no. I know I faced off against Skeletal Swordsman before, and I know the museum has at least one. Part of my shield, and you know it. Oh, there's another one. Come on. There we go. Use another one of these. Another player goes kaboom, and... While well, we smack the weird dragon head statue for no reason. Let's cause one more kaboom. And if you couldn't tell by the four design here that something interesting is gonna happen. Oh, look, another one of these guys. No casting skull magic. You are not allowed to cast skull magic. No. I'll take that, Ankh. We open this up. Nice. But what about... What shape we need? That was four of these in total. Last one, make it count. Aha! Just the cardinal directions, eh? All right. Where's the exit? There's the exit. So we've got H, we got T, we got O, and now we have, um, What is this, like a lowercase o or something? But there we go, a glyph. You really needed that cutscene, huh? Okay. You found a glyph key. And now we're back outside this area that was kind of filler, not gonna lie. By the way, those are the gab. Lord Set, the Gebs are eternally grateful for to you for bringing the sacred crown of Uruk. The crown will totally be secure in our hands. I'm sure that you speak the truth. If not, the consequences for you will be terrible indeed. Do not worry, my Lord Set. Nobody has ever been able to overcome the power of the Geb Queen.
I bet she's reasonable. Ah, you have returned. Congratulations, Sphinx. I knew that you would prevail. Few people are able to survive the test of the temple. Really? Really, it wasn't that difficult. I mean, there was a lot of skull swordsmen, but wasn't that bad. The artifact you have retrieved can be used to activate this Ka'ug firing point. I'm sure an inventor of your experience is well aware of the mystical mechanics of Ka'ongs. Before you go, a word of advice. The Gem Queen is a fearsome adversary. I doubt that you will be able to defeat her all by yourself. In the heat of battle, you should not forget that other creatures may provide you with the opportunity you require to defeat the Queen. Hint. Hint. Farewell, Sphinx, and good luck. Little on the nose there, but hey. Use the item, the Glyph Key. Ooh, what do we have here? Obviously, a Kong got activated. Apparently, they're powered by glyphs. Yeah, I'm going to save game here, and while we continue exploring the Uruk Islands. Let's jump on top of here. So, we're going to explore the left area first. Takes forever for the Kaonk to get over there. Like, ridiculously long. Well, we have a locked door ahead of us. That's comforting to know. Hmm. Oh, skeletal axeman. Uh, did I give... That's a dark worshiper. Oh, come on. Well, don't care about him now. I'm pretty sure I got one for the museum. Oh, this is a large gap I don't think I can get across. Let's try. Nope. That ain't gonna work. So, we were already there. Let's take the longest Kaong teleport ever. One, two, three, four, five. Like six seconds maybe to actually land the shot and finally teleport over there. Man, that's way too long. Hey, look, it's another tree creature. And but more importantly, we got this. Come here. Your shield. There we go. Take that. There's a nose needle over here that's going to be super annoying. These guys are such a pain. You got to be. You got to see them and head over to their spot to get them immediately, or else they're going to start spitting rocks at you, and it's uh not a fun time. They really love playing peekaboo. Over here. You know what? I did say earlier that, uh, oh, huh. If I use ice darts on this thing, will it even work? Nope. Ice starts don't even work on this creature. It's like they programmed it specifically for those two monsters we already faced. But more importantly, we have that dude. Let's get a standard dart going. Hit this. Tree creature. Try block ow. That's not blocking Sphinx. Alright, whoop. Capture. Good. I really do need him. For the museum. That took a lot of hits. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Pick up. And throw. Pick up. And throw. Hopefully, don't. 
Oh, pick up. Quicker than that. Throw quickly. There we go. Oof. Got there just in the nick of time. I'm gonna drop this. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna open up. Whoa, spiders, spiders. Let's open this up. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We found a gold key. Okay. All right, we found a gold key. That is going to be useful on the other islands.